Oh, indeed, he is being lovely. Like I say, he's just strolling ever so gently down the road and every now and then he looks over his shoulder at us but otherwise he is completely unperturbed by our presence and he's doing a lot of scent marking we've seen him rubbing his face on varying trees lifting his tail and spraying so he's been doing a lot of that and it's probably because he actually hasn't spent that much time in this area over the last week we've not seen too many signs of Tingana the last time he was seen was with Taylor when he kind of came through Treehouse Dam and then out through the northern side of into Biffle's Hook and so this area that we're in now I haven't seen trucks for Tingana here for probably I would say at least 10 to 15 days and we've just had that bit of sprinkling of rain yesterday and last night in fact last night there was quite a bit of drizzle that fell not enough to really make any puddles but enough to see that the ground is actually quite wet and damp this morning and that means that a lot of his territorial markings unfortunately have been washed away and so for him he's now got to get out quickly and go and remark all of his areas Sure that no other is to make sure that no other younger males that could be potentially flirting around the boundaries of his territory now come in and don't notice that he's here so that's why he's going to move a lot today he's going to try and see if he can't just mark as many places as possible to make sure he doesn't have any intruders in his territory So Anthony, you're wondering how often a male leopard would kill a female leopard? Well Anthony, not very often at all. In fact, this is quite an interesting situation and no one's 100% sure why he would have done it. You do see it sometimes if it's a female leopard that's younger than two years and she's not able to mate, then sometimes the males will do this. They'll, be able, they'll go and kill her because they still want to bring the, the female that is the mother back into estrus and mate with her. So it does happen there. But an adult female that's able to breed is very, very, very unusual that a leopard would do that. And what I think, and this is just my own theory, it's not what, I mean, it could be completely wrong, but what I think is what she was doing is she had mated with Mvula in the previous few days. And what I think has happened is Tingana approached her and he picked up the scent of that other male and he then got so sort of worked up by the fact that there was another male in that area and that had been around this female that his aggression just came through and he ran at her and she probably tried to defend herself and that ended up with a situation where unfortunately he killed her and, and then because she was then dead he just utilized the nutrient factor and actually ate her so it's that reason that probably it happened or in my opinion that's what's happened but it could be a completely different reason altogether. Now, Tingana, why are you going this way? This is not a good way that he's going now because he's going to go through a very thick drainage section and I'm gonna try and see if I can't get round. It's going to be very difficult. I just wanna get hold of the guys on the radio that are joining me so that they can get round quickly. Tax, tax, tax. Uh, he's cutting south now into this drainage. Um, I think your best bet is just to go onto Weaver's Nest, south of the hyena den. Maybe you'll get him popping out there. I'm losing visual of him going into the drainage section now. All right, so we're gonna try and see if we can't get round because there's no ways we can cross that drainage section. It's very, very steep on both sides. So we're gonna have to go around and try and see if I can't get him from the other side. The problem is where he's walking now is so difficult to negotiate on the other side. The elephants have had an absolute field day there and they've broken, I don't even know how many knob thorns and pushed them over and it's a minefield to get through there. I remember the one evening I tried to follow Hosanna through there and literally got completely stuck trying to get in and around so I'm gonna just try and see if I can't get around and get to him obviously this roof is also gonna make things a little bit more difficult when it comes to trying to actually keep up with him I was hoping he was gonna cut more in this direction because here it's a quite short distance to where the road is but the way he's gone now it's a long way but I'll try and see if I can get around you never know maybe he'll be good to us and we'll be able to find him he seems like he's in a showing off mood this morning because he didn't dart away as soon as we found him and he wasn't too worried or perturbed by us but so we hopefully should be able to get him again but we know how Tingana can be he can be a slippery character at best when he wants to now while I try and get around and try and bash through these thickets to get to where this leopard is let's go back to Byron and see what his plans are and whether or not he's decided to follow those hippo tracks and find out where they've ended up <laughs> 